um, I'm doing some stuff for the backs of my little flowers here and I have whipped up a gorgeous color of pink it's hard to see in here and this is all I mixed it using some cheap stuff from five below I believe it's just a little eyeshadow it makes really awesome colors um, some of the colors I've done like this one here will be for the back let me see if I can get that to zoom in sorry for the background watching some stuff on YouTube <laughs> These are some of the molds I've gotten finished. Um, I've pulled this one out. We're going to do a little bit of a top finish. Maybe just do a color on the back. Let's see if that'll focus. There we go. The lighting's a little off in here, so. Um, did a bunch of little different things there we go that's a little better of a view okay and then I did some things in here we're gonna put some colored backs on here these are all finished big thing is to make sure you got all your bubbles out And keep in mind you're seeing the back of everything I used for dropping my colors in I used some of the alcohol inks these are a couple colors I used got a little bit of everything over here guys Lisa here welcome to my tutorial it's I don't know if you want to call it a tutorial it's kind of more or less a do's and don'ts of what I've learned so far with doing some resin jewelry um, and a couple of things I've done so far um, first let me just say it takes a lot of supplies to get started it really does um, I've used two different kind of resins. I have tried the Everlight, I think is how you say it. Um, that one, I had a lot more bubbles than I did in the Amazing Clear cast. Um, okay, let me turn this one around for you here. Okay, trying to find a better angle for this. Okay, so starting out, I kind of grabbed a little bit of everything. Um, glitter is definitely an important thing. Oh my god, fuck this again. The phone wants to keep cutting off on me. Okay, as I was saying, I'm probably gonna make this the back because the back looks fabulous see all the cute little flowers inside um, well, you can see that but you can't see it all from the front so not a huge success on using this we're gonna have to go and do them twice as short did the resin too high so we'll do twice as short and we will try it all over again and we will come back and figure this out all right now these ones i'm very 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 excited about um i wanted the dome finish so i found this at the hobby lobby it was like five dollars awesome 
and I haven't tried these yet, so I'm not quite sure how to pop these out, if they're just going to pop out easy or not. So what I did for these is, like I said with the other ones, I did clear about this deep into it. I used stickers. I used gems. Well, not gems, but charms. Um, different little charms. I used um, flowers. Um, more charms. Um, I used stickers. Um, so I did a little bit of everything in here. Um, I used glitter for the back piece. I've done different glitters back here and as you can see like what I was saying how if you put it in too soon it will float to the center and see how like from here to here you have this little space right here that's kind of okay so since my phone just decided to delete my entire tutorial I just did about all of these that I had unveiled um most of my color from my ink did not work out the way I was hoping. It was too thick of a um, cast that I had done. So I got to try to do that a little bit better. Um, a thinner cast. Uh, the last tutorial I was talking about um, how with your glitter or anything that you put in here, it will center if the cast is still very thin and hadn't thickened so as you see all of these has went to the center whereas after this was thick enough i was able to put this on and it did not center um okay let's try to pop these out and see how these come out oh and of course just not want to stay put for me. Okay. Oh! Well, shoot. Well, that's enough to scare the bejesus out of anybody, right? Wow. Okay. I really, 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 really like this mold. Okay. So this mold is awesome. It's shiny. It has a dome finish. So, I am very, 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 very much loving this pendant here. Very cute. I like how it is. It's very soft, very rounded out, as you can see. And then we'll just dome this off here, which is just taking a clear cast, putting it on there, and letting it kind of give it like this little bubble finish. Um, I'll do a little tutorial on that and show you guys how I do that. Super excited about that. That's very cute. I'm so happy. Okay. So let's try this one. Oh. Okay. Oh, very cute. Very hipster. Okay. So this one I overfilled just a little bit. So if you overfill, you will get these little ridges. I decided to attempt this for the billionth time in a row because my phone wants to keep shutting off apparently due to high temperature. So yay for that. Anyways, as I was saying, if you overfill, you will end up with ridges that come out. You can trim those. This is actually very easy um, material to work with. So just a pair of scissors Clippers, cuticle cutters is something that I like to do, um, and you just want to lightly clip around that. Um, don't do too much because you want something to help you do your dome finish afterwards. Okay, we won't get too into that. Um, there's a smaller one I did. little bit of ridge a oh, little bit of ridge here too but very very cute gonna be a cute little something there as you can see the little ridges here all that can be sanded down uh, 
Let's check out some of these flowers I did. Oh. I don't know how I feel about the way these... Oh! Cracks and does all kinds of stuff. It's a little intimidating, so... Kind of makes me worried I'm going to break something. Something. I love this one. Look at that. Very, very cute. Now, how we can get that into focus. It shines, it's got the round to it, so very cute. Anything that you do with a something like this, you're going to want to do the clear first, put your stuff in it, and then do your back. Because I have in the past tried to do the clear coat put my stuff in it and then do the back after it's dried for about an hour or two and usually the color will kind of do like these and sink in so doesn't really work out so do your clear put your pieces that you want in the very front of your piece in first and your color the next day give it a full 24 hours um, and as I said with all these backs I used eyeshadow colors so oh, this black is an eyeshadow I used out of this little cheap one up here so awesome little guitar dude love it as you can see you see where the clear cast is also um, something I noticed if my my table was a little bit lopsided definitely want to check all the legs of your tables all the time because if your stuff is a little bit offset you will see that it, it will be a little bit on the crooked side funny I noticed as well um, some slight little scratches up in here I looked into my mold and very teeny tiny little um, flaws in there so that will probably be on each one of my molds nothing that a finishing coat of um, clear gloss won't do I haven't tried it yet but I did get this which is the Krylon clear glaze triple thick so I heard it has a really awesome gloss finish so I'm excited to try that and see how that's going to look afterwards Let's see how this fairy of mine looks. I'm very excited to see how the fairy is. Oh, okay. Oh, she's so pretty. Look at her. It's my little fairy. Very sparkly, very beautiful. I love this and again like I said you want to do the clear coat first and having these dome finishes mean everything because it's a very different look from something that is very flat to something like this now these I have domed so they still have that little bit of a bow to it so keep that in mind um, whereas this side I have not done yet so on this piece so it's very very straight compared to something very round and attractive I like I like these so Let's see how the front of this looks. Okay. Oh, that's very cute. Okay, so here's my little elephant. Very cute. Kind of reminds me of like a little ball. Let's 
chest one more again. Okay, so let's try these. I did these really, really pretty flowers. I definitely want to at least get to these before everybody blocks me from being able to keep doing this tutorial. So, oh my gosh. You guys, I, that's what I like. Ah, uh, isn't that pretty? And then like with the white, I did a little, just a little bit of fine glitter enough to make it shiny and give it like a opal look. Um, again, this lighting is horrible. This is not doing these things justice. So, so cute. Super happy with this. Very happy with this. So, okay. Um, I have a thing with keys. I also have a big thing with water. So, lots of mermaid stuff. Lots of uh, shells. I just got some new shells, so I'm very excited. I'm going to do some underwater stuff and do some stuff with sand, and we'll see how that goes once we start that. Oh, I love this. Look at the key. Very sparkly. I am a sparkle girl. I love my glitter stuff, so. Um, I also do customs, so don't be afraid to reach out to me, um, as well as fellows if you like a little more masculine things done, I do that as well, so um, I hope to start doing some special memory flowers for people soon, which will be really cool. This one's being very difficult. Oh, there we go. Okay. So this one I just kind of did. It's just like a little... Eh, it's a little something that's a little different. It's a little key and lock. A little sparkle in the background. Gives it a little weird of a... little bit of weird definition to it. I know I have my music lovers, so I am a big music lover, huge music lover. Um, there we go. So, and I'm really loving the sea colors right now, so I'm doing a lot with that. Could be my Aquarius sign, could just be that I'm a water baby. I don't know, but I'm very attracted to the colors. Um, I just love water stuff. Okay. So this is a very difficult mold to remove things from. So I'll probably make these into earrings because I have two of these. Let's see if I can pop these out. Oh goodness. Hurt your fingers just a little bit. Oh gosh. 